so today we're going to be making some paper plate snails. So you are going to get some squares of like tissue paper or if you want you can use construction paper and you're just going to glue your squares around the paper plate in a circular or any type of way you want to make the colorful shell of your snail. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm deciding to also add some squiggly lines with my marker, but that's totally up to you. You can add rhinestones or glitter or really anything you want. You can be very creative with this project. So here's what I did with the back of my snail. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the like head shape for my snail. So I'm going to cut that out now. It's going to be kind of like a jelly bean. So I got like a this shape, kind of like a comma, and it will go like this for my snail. So I'm just going to get some of my glue. And then I'm going to put some glue on the side of my plate. And just glue the snail head body so you can just kind of look and judge where you want your how you want your snail to look like now with our extra construction paper we're gonna make the antenna pieces of our snail it is a snail so I'm going to cut out a shape that looks kind of like a billboard sort of so I'm going to cut out like the antenna part which is going to be these two pieces like this. Hold on. And then I'm just going to leave it as a rectangle on top so that way my googly eyes don't fall off when I stick them on. But if you want, you don't need to make, you can just put circles. Anyway, so now I'm going to glue this piece to the top portion of my snail like this for the antenna. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm also going to glue my googly eyes to that top portion. And then if I want, I can just cut off any extra from the top of that rectangle I made with the construction paper. So I'm just going to let that dry for a second. So now that that's dried for a bit, here is my snail friend named Bear. And look, we have our snail friend. Yay!